for him first we have to select a mechanical for design select a plane which you want to sketch first you have to draw a pair of concentric circles then specify the dimensional constraints based upon your requirement after that you need to specify the center distance of both pair of circles Then you have to just select a polyline, draw an intersecting line in a concentric circles. After that, select a quick trim, then delete the unwanted segments. Just exit the workbench. Then select a pad definition, specify the first and second limit based upon your requirement. After specifying the corresponding thickness, you have to just click OK. Again, you have to select the mid plane and go to the sketch. Here we are going to make a project element. Just make it to the normal view. Then we have to click here, project 3D element. Select the corresponding entities. Then we have to draw a intersecting lines between the two projecting elements draw a center line and we have to use a mirror element select our corresponding axis now the entity is to be mirror after that you have to select a quick dream delete the unwanted line segments then exit the workbench we have to apply the pad definition Specify the first and second limit based upon your required amount of thickness. After that you have to just select a flat face and go to the sketch. Just select a polyline and draw it on your face. After that we have to apply the geometrical constraints between the two lines. Just apply the parallelism then we have to draw a center axis or mirror the command select our corresponding axis to mirror element then we have to draw a three point arc at the both ends of lines After that just exit the workbench, we are going to make a pocket here, apply the depth of pocket, then click OK. After that we need to mirror a pocket definition. So select transformation features and click a mirror with corresponding to center plane. Just hide the all planes. For better visualization then select a base face of the connecting rod to draw a complete profile of connecting rod here we have to draw a circle so select a profile circle here we have to draw the circle and give the corresponding dimensions in terms of mm then we have to specify the center distance between the line and circle After that just exit the workbench, apply the pad definition, reverse the direction of pad, give the required amount of thickness to be produced, then select a flat face in a cylindrical pot, go to the sketch, we have to draw a circle concentrically here. After drawing the concentric circle, we have to make the geometrical constraints. Sorry, we have to make a concentricity only. 
just try to give the relations again then we have to specify the dimensional constraints exit the workbench we are apply the pocket definition here select the depth of value of pocket after that you have to select the both pocket and pad apply the transformation features mirror select the corresponding center axis or center plane for mirror the pad and pocket now the pad and pocket is successfully mirror just hide all planes then we are going to apply the material here before that you need to give a fillet at the shop edges is for the corresponding radius value of fillet then you have to just click apply material select a material based upon your requirement drag the material now the material is successfully applied just save our component for a purpose of assembly in future specify the file name save as a type in cat pot thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe in my channel arhim first arhim assalam alaikum first we have go to the mechanical pot design select a plane where you want to sketch then we have to draw a concentric circles here after drawing the concentric circles we have to apply the dimensional constraints then we have drawing a intersecting line between the concentric circles after that we have to just make a quick trim so select a quick trim and just trim the unwanted entities then exit the workbench apply the pad definition here specify the thickness in your first and second limits based upon your requirement after that you have to select a base face of the pot and then we have to draw a circle here specify the dimensional constraints for a circle after that exit the workbench apply the pad definition change the direction just specify the amount of length to be extruded after that you have to select a face of the cylindrical pot then go to the sketch workbench here we have to draw a concentric circle here after that you need to specify the dimensional constraints based upon your requirement then we have to apply the geometrical constraints make sure the both circle are in concentric exit the workbench we have to apply the pocket definition specify the depth value then we are going to make pocket and pad to be mirrored so go to the transformation features and select a mirror with corresponding center plane then click okay now our pot is created just hide the unwanted planes and select apply material specify the material based upon your requirement you just select and drag the material to the our pot just click apply material and okay now we are going to save the pot for a purpose of assembly give a pot name 
Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. First, we have to select a mechanical assembly design. In your product structure toolbar, we have to select existing component and select a product one. Select our corresponding component and just click open. Place our component at required position. Then we need to insert a one more component here. So you have to again click the existing component. Then select our component. After that you have to just click a snap option. Click smart move. Just drag the pot and place it at required positions. After that we are going to apply the constraints between the pots. So just drag the constraint toolbar and select a coincident constraint. Then select both axis of the cylindrical bar. Then we have to select again coincident. Select other center axis of cylindrical bar. After that we have to apply the surface contact. Just select a contact constraint and apply the both base face of the connecting rod. Now the constraint is applied here. Then we need to just move the component for apply the one more surface contact. Just click again surface contact constraints. Apply the corresponding spaces to be applied contact constraint. Then click OK. Now the four constraints are applied here. Two is coincident constraints. Another two is surface contact constraints. Now you have to just save your component for your assembly purpose. Check the link in the description for make watch complete tutorial of assembly. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe in my channel. Save our component for assembly purpose. First we have to select